So in this video, I'm going to share with you a very, very powerful option strategy called Kuli Kaishi strategy and how you can actually use that to turn your $5,000 capital to more than $2 million in about 10 years time. So if having an exponential return in a very safe manner is what you are looking for, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, this is Chloe and welcome back to my channel, the all-in-one place to learn about options, stocks, as well as investing. Before I begin, let me explain to you what is call options, which is the key option strategy that I will be using behind this powerful Kulikaishi strategy. Many times when people decide to buy stocks, it's because they believe that long term, the stock price is going to go up. So right now, if they buy the stock at the cheaper price right now, eventually when the stock price go up, that's how they are going to make money. But one limitation about stocks is if you want to buy 100 shares of stock, then your original capital outlay will be quite huge. However, with the power of core options and you being the buyer of core options, all you need to do is to fork up a little bit of money up front in order to lock in the stock price at a lower price. And eventually, when the stock price go up, you can choose to sell away your core option and still make the amount of profits that you will be making as if you are controlling 100 shares. In other words, core options are financial contracts that give the option buyer the right to buy a stock at a specific price within a specific time frame. I personally came up with this investment strategy called Kuli Kaishi because I was inspired by my mentor Sean when he talked about his strategy called Parakupa. And using Parakupa and S&P 500, literally you can actually have a 40% year-on-year return in a very, very safe manner. In fact, when we share about this strategy to Mary Buffett, who was the former daughter-in-law of Warren Buffett, she was completely wowed by this. And so are so many of our students. So if you want to learn the foundation strategy to my Kuli Kaishi strategy, do check out Sean's video right there. For those who already know what is S&P 500 and what is Parakupa strategy, do continue to stay right here because right now I'm going to explain to you how can you increase your return even further and in a very safe manner. Now, let me ask you this question and do leave it in the comment below. Which sector do you think out of so many other sectors will continue to grow in a very, very fast bit? And in my opinion, that is none other than technology. We basically need to live and breathe technology every single day. And in the next 10 years time, our technology will definitely continue to advance. And so will all these companies. So instead of investing in S&P 500 via options, you can choose to invest in QQQ instead, which is a technology-focused ETF that is able to give you much more return. What I like most about QQQ is if you see the portfolio construction, over 50% of them are in very, very great tech companies, including your Apple, your Tesla, Facebook, Microsoft, and so many more. And on top of that, this is not a pure tech ETF. It's also tracking other sectors such as your healthcare, consumer cyclicals. So in a way, it's still balanced and you can still grow your portfolio in a diversified manner. If you look at QQQ stock price, just by buying and holding onto the stock alone in the past, Last 10 years, your portfolio will have grown more than 500 over percent. For those who want to learn how to invest in ETF in a very safe manner and generate about 10 to 20 percent return every single year, then do check out my free e-course where you will be able to find it in my YouTube banner over there. So right now, you may be thinking that, well, Chloe, if I invest in QQQ as an ETF, then my return will have been just 500 percent for the past 10 years. And how can I turn my $5,000 into a $2 million portfolio in in about 10 years time. And that is why my Kuli Kaishi strategy comes into play. Right now, I'm going to do a share screen and demonstrate to you step by step how can you use Kuli Kaishi strategy to your advantage to exponentially increase your return. I know this video is a little bit long, but do watch till the very end because I promise you that you'll be rewarded tremendously once you really implement and execute this strategy on your own portfolio. Now, let me log into my Think or Swim platform, which is the trading platform that I personally use for my all my trades as well. And right now, if we actually back test the date all the way to 2011, May 31st, which is about like 10, 10 years ago, okay, this is where what's going to happen uh, right now. I want to show you the process of how I do back testing and so that you can also see it in front of your eyes how this strategy is so amazing to increase your wealth. Right now, if you look at QQQ back, 
then uh, about 2011, that was about $58 per stock price. All right. If I just shift this to, let's say, uh, one year down the road, okay, let me just shift to like 2012. And now let me show you like 31st of uh, May 2012, then QQ stock price increased to $62. So all I need to do is that I actually input all the numbers for you so that you can see how QQQ stock price has actually increased over the past 10 to 11 years time. Now let's go to the Excel sheet right now. And you can actually see that I already inputted all the numbers over here. And you can see that 2011, that was 58 that you just saw. And then 2012, that's 62. And along the years over the time, okay, you can see that every single year, right, on 31st of May, the stock price of QQQ is shown actually here, right? So this year, 2021, all right, QQQ stock price was 332. So in this case, if I initially started with $5,000 capital and I just buy the stocks, all right, just don't, don't do option, just I simply buy and hold on to the stock my five thousand uh, dollar, I could have buy like uh, eighty five units, okay? Because five thousand divided by fifty eight, you will get about eighty five point five uh, six eight. So in this case, I buy eighty five units of uh, stocks, and in this case, I will have like uh, I will have used up about four thousand nine hundred sixty dollar, and I still have about thirty nine dollar left. So what's going to happen to this four thousand nine hundred and sixty dollar? All right, uh, eleven years later, from two thousand eleven all the way to two zero two one May this year. So your portfolio, if you just buy and hold the stocks, it will have grown, all right, from uh, originally $58 to this year, May, you have grown one share to $332. So right now, your stock, okay, times your, uh, your stock amount, which is 85 units times 332, it will be about $28,000. So in that case, your original 4,000, which is about $5,000, will have grown to $28,000. And that is more than 464% return, all right, in about 11 years time. In fact, if you look at the today's date right now, QQ stock price has actually increased and have become more than $332. So you just buy and hold down to it, your return will be about 500%. All right. But the thing is, how can we use Kulikaishi strategy, which is a very, very powerful uh, technique, okay, all the way from this long term thinking from the Japanese culture, right? Because I actually spend a lot of time in Japan studying and working as well. And I really feel that there's a lot of wisdom behind how Japanese people do things. And that is why uh, rinse and repeat, okay, Kulikaishi actually means rinse and repeat. And how do we actually Kulikaishi this strategy, rinse and repeat it to increase our wealth exposure? financially via options. Now, let's go to the right-hand side. All right, this is where I actually start to buy QQQ call option. Remember, why do we want to buy call option? It's because right now we just pay a little bit of money to lock in at the original low price. And even though eventually when stock price continue to increase, we can still buy the stock 100 shares at a lower price, right? So this is what is about call options, okay? So you can see that if I go back to that think or swim, how much was it if I decided to initiate my first option contract back in 2011 May? Now let's go back to Think or Swim and I want to show you the difference between options and uh, buying stocks as well. So you will also be able to see the power if you decide to start investing in options. So now let me go to May, um, go back to May 2011 and I go back to 31st of May and you can see that, okay, back then $58 was a share, share price. But if you go down to below, this is where you get to see all the different kinds of dates and this is definitely, this is about options because options, it's always about an agreement within a specific time frame so you can choose different time frame so in our kulikashi strategy we always buy the longest all right longest call option inside okay because we do want to have more time on our side and we want time to decay to be as slow as possible so in options, there are actually two types of options you can do. One is the call option and one is the put option. And of course, in Kulikaishi strategy, we are talking about we buying call options. And that's why we look at calls. And on top of that, we are looking at minus one strike. So what does minus one strike actually mean? It actually means that you can see that current stock price is 58.36. We want to buy it slightly, okay, minus one below 58.36. And that is why you have 58, all right? So you go to uh, buy call option at $58. And you mouse over, there are actually two kind of uh, 
price that you will need to figure out what is it. So what does that mean is, you know, meet because option is a contract. There's always buyer and seller. And that is why in this case, we want to buy. And that's why you mouse over to the ask column, which is the buyer side. And you want to click it. And you can see that actually right here, there is uh, there's a price of six $6.075. Okay, what does that mean is you are actually investing in order to buy this call option, you spend about $607.50 in order to buy call option on QQQ for the next 598 days at the strike price of 58. And that is why you, if you remember this number, let's go back to our calculator and you will see the exact same number I actually key in inside the spreadsheet, which is 6.075. Now let's go back to the spreadsheet and you can see that Okay, I have already key in 6.075 over here. So if with $5,000 capital, how much unit of uh, $6.075? And in this case, uh, because one option is always 100 shares. So in this case, you do need to spend about $670, $608, all right? So if I round it up, your $5,000, you can buy how many contracts? You can buy eight contracts. Okay, so in the end, you invested about $4,860 and uh, one year later, that is magic. You want to see what is going to happen to our call option one year down the road. So uh, remember, originally you spent about $4,860 to buy eight option contract. And right now, one year later, let's check out QQQ stock price. Remember, it has actually increased by a few dollars, right? So right now, let's check out one year down the road what is going to happen to the uh, option price. So let's go back to Think or Swim. So right now it's 31st of May 2011. So let's check out one year down the road, all right? What will happen? And let's go back to 2012, May 31st. Okay, so if you go back to May 31st, you can see that, all right, your originally, your expiration date, it's uh, January 2000, uh, January 2013. And if I go back to the same call option contract, which is January 2013, now it's only left with 232 days because one year has passed. Right? So that is why 232 days, what you need to do is if I decide to sell away my call option that I bought it one year ago, where can I sell it? Can you see that we actually lock in the price at $58? So I find back the same contract at $58. And right now, I go back to my call option again. And if I click the sell button, all right, can you see that when I decide to sell this exact contract away one year down the road, I will have collected back $703, all right? I invested $600 to buy one option. Right now, when I sell it away, I will have actually made back $700. So in this case, you are in profit, all right? So remember 7.03. Now let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet and let me show you. I also keep the same number inside here. You can, you can see it's 703, right? So because you bought eight option contracts, so in this case, your total profit, all right, after uh, selling off all your, 800, uh, all your eight contracts, you will make $764, all right? Which is not a lot of money, but remember, this is a 10-year game plan. This is about rinsing and repeating the same strategy again and again. And that's why when we close off this option contract, our capital will have grown to $5,764, all right? And right now, we use the exact amount that we have, which is $5,764. We repeat this process and we buy another QQQ call option at the current strike price minus one. Okay, remember the same process. And let's see uh, right now, how much do we need to spend? So I already give you a calculator. It's actually one contract is $10.55. But let's go back to my Think or Swim and see where do I actually get this $10.55, all right? Now, uh, if you go back to the trading platform and one year down the road, because we have already closed off this contract, that means now we are starting anew. And remember, when we are starting a new, we want to reinitiate another call con contract, which is Kuli Kaishi strategy, and you want to open the longest one. So that's why you choose 932 days, which is available over here. And right now, the stock price is 62.06, .06, and I want to do strike minus one, and that's why it's $60. And all I need to do is to buy this, and can you see 10.55? 
which is the exact number that you saw it in my spreadsheet just now. So with the amount of money, which is $5,000 over dollars, you can actually buy about five contracts. So buy five contracts again, and one year later, close off this five contract. So what's going to happen one year down the road? Let's check out 2013, May 31st. Okay, what's happening, right? So now it's one year down the road. Your original uh, 900 over days of options now left with 567 days. So all you need to do is to close off, all right? Close off these options again, sell it back to the market. And remember, our original buy price, which is a strike price, is $60. So if I go back to the $60 contract, right now when I sell it back to the market, I am selling one contract at 1474. All right. Remember, I buy one contract with $1,055. Right now, I sell back. It's $1,474. All right. So if I go back to my spreadsheet, I want to show you this is the magic where it starts to happen. It's really about compounding effect. So remember, I buy five option contract. I invested about $5,275. And right now, one year later, one option become $1,474. And my $500, when I sell it off, I will have gotten back $7,370. $7, and my net profit is $2,000 in two years' time. Still not a lot yet, but guys, this is about rinse and repeat. So that's why you use whatever profits that you have with your original capital, $5,000, just continue to invest. Now, let me show you the magic of it, right? If you continue to invest, all right, right now with $7,800 and the third year when you continue to do that, you will have able to gotten one contract at $638. And within this time frame, all right, in one year's time, $7,859 is the amount that you, you choose to buy 12 contracts, all right, 12 contracts of call option, all right, using Kuli Kaishu strategy on QQQ. And one year down the road, all right, your profit grow to $14,000. Previously was only $2,000. Right now it's $14,000. And your portfolio will have grown from $5,000 in three years time, turned to $22,000 guys, all right? And you once again, rinse and repeat this strategy. Next year, your profit is $37,000 and your portfolio grow to $60,000. But I know some of you may be thinking that Chloe, but the stock price can't be moving up all the time. What happened when the stock price actually plummeted? Actually, during the fifth year time, the stock price didn't move up. It actually, actually start to uh, go down. And that is why for the first time, you saw losses in your account. Okay, Instead of making $37,000 again, you actually lost about $26,000 back year. But guys, remember, you need to trust this process and just rinse and repeat. Because when you do that, okay, firstly, you think that because even though you lost $26,000 that year, you will have already made so much capital, all right? Your capital will have grown to $60,000 in four years' time. So even despite losing $26,000, your capital will still be $33,000 which is way more than your original $5,000. Remember, we started with 5K and now five years down the road, it grew to $33,000. You are already in a very handsome profit, all right? And all you need to do is trust the process, rinse and repeat it, use your balance amount, which is $33,000 to continue to reinitiate another position in QQQ strategy using Kuli Kaishi. And next year, your profit, guys, I want you to see this. All right, next year, your profit will have grown to $66,000. This is net net profit. Your capital will have grown to more than close to $100,000. And you repeat this process again. Next year, your profit is $149,000. And your capital is close to a $250,000 mark with a 5K portfolio without topping out any single cent. And this is only in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven years time. All right, so then some years you will lose money. But again, if you just rinse and repeat this process, eventually, guys, this year in 2021, all right, in 2021 this year, your profit, guys, I want to show you this. In 2021 this year, 
your profit, if you just continue to rinse and repeat this strategy, your capital will have grown to more than $2 million. All right. And that is the power of using options to really supercharge your return. And when you are doing on the right stock, on the right QQQ ETF in this case, then you are really giving yourself a high margin of safety. So here's a summary of the five steps that you need to do. Step one, make sure you have enough money to initiate your first contract. Step two, buy the longest expiration date so that to avoid time decay. Step three, buy at the strike price minus one. Step four, close your buy call option contract one year later, regardless of profit or loss. Step five, repeat from step number one. All you need to do is to rinse and repeat this and you will be rewarded financially. Just trust the process. I've backtested for more than 11 years and I'm very, very sure that technology will continue to improve over time. If you are wondering, can this strategy be executed onto individual companies such as your Facebook, your Microsoft, your Tesla? I do personally believe that this strategy is very powerful and should only be executed on the good companies. But you do need to understand way more about the businesses because right now you are investing in individual businesses rather than an ETF as a portfolio. If you want to find out more investing insights, I actually share them very, very frequently in my Telegram channel. So do join my channel if you want to stay up to date. Last but not least, if you find this video helpful, do remember to give it a thumbs up as well as to subscribe to my channel so that you will be immediately notified when I release a new options video. Before you go, I also want to let you know that this is not an investment advice. Make sure you do your due diligence to really understand what exactly is options so that you can really execute your strategies in a very, very safe manner. So I personally have been doing options for a couple of years and I really see my portfolio growing tremendously. And that is why I want to share with you this very, very safe and proven strategy that you can do it on your own portfolio as well so that we can all grow wealthier together. So with that, I wish you have a great Great weekend ahead, a great day, and happy investing. I will see you in the next video. Bye.